Hi guys, Ray23179 here, and today I'm going to be doing a redstone tutorial on the multi-fire TNT cannon. Now this is another TNT cannon um, that I made. I know I made a TNT cannon redstone tutorial a while ago. Um, but this one is a special new design that not only does it just fire TNT, but it fires multiple TNT at once. So, this is the design. It's very compact and... Um, I wouldn't say that it uses too much more resources than the um, than the old TNT cannon that only fires one. Um, I have on the screen right now everything that you will need to make this if you're doing this in survival. Just to have a material count and everything. Um, but yeah, this is the cannon and I'm going to show you guys how to make this. So uh, first I'm going to show you guys how it works. The button is in the back right here on our input block. Uh, when we push it, oh wait, missed it. There you go. We push it, it dispenses TNT, and this one dispenses fire, and launches them all. It goes extremely far, so we can't see where it landed. Um, oh, wow, wow, that, are you seeing this distance? I, 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 look at this. I'm pretty sure this is from, um, some previous test runs. This is not all, this is not only what I just fired. I've been firing, um, some few test runs before this, uh, video. Um, but anyway, you can't even see the hole from where it was launched from. So, uh, it goes extremely far, and it launches more than one. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this, and yeah, let's get our materials out of that chest. Redstone torch, redstone, repeater, block of iron, water bucket, dispenser, stone slab. Well, you can use any slab, um, and, s and you can use any fresh blade. I just decided to use wooden, uh, not wooden, uh, iron just for fun because uh, I think like I'm using iron blocks and everything and just want to keep with the look um, also I have stone and wooden buttons that I'm going to show you why I have both uh, later so uh, let's get into building this thing what we're gonna start out by doing is building a two pillars of um, your building material three blocks high like this then you're gonna put nine dispensers like this stacked on top of each other uh, make sure you hold shift otherwise uh, you'll go into the dispenser inventory um then what we're gonna do is build another pillar next to the dispensers come out two more and then go all the way up to the front this is the basic structure of the entire cannon and then right here at the front we're gonna break out this part for the to dispenser to dispense the actual tnt that's being launched um now we're gonna break a hole right here at the front put in the fence and put the pressure plate on top of it then we're going to put our water at the back. Um, you can fill it all the way up if you want, but um, I'm only going to put it at the back. Um, just to show that you can use only one water bucket as displayed in the list of what you need. Um, then we're going to um, put a block here, two blocks next to it. We're going to put a torch under here, a torch here, and redstone here. This torch should turn off. Uh, then we're going to put repeaters three of them like this, all on four ticks. Behind these repeaters, we're gonna put a block, another repeater going into that block on four ticks, another block, another repeater going into that block on four ticks. Then we are going to place down, I forgot to grab one of these, the input block right here. Um, then that's where we're gonna put our button, and I'll do stone for now. I'll show you what the difference is uh, later. Um, then we're going to do two iron blocks like that next to it. Redstone on top of all of these three. Then we're going to come to our dispensers. And put repeaters here, here, and here. And link them up with redstone all on one tick. And then holding shift, we're going to make a layer like this. And then for the last dispenser, we're going to put a block there and put a slab so we can bring the pulse up. Three there, three repeaters here. And that's basically it finished. So it's very compact, very easy to build. Now all we need to do is fill it up with TNT. Um, so just grab the TNT. I'm going to put um, a, oops, a stack in each dispenser because um, I don't need to fill them all up because it's not like I'm going to use them more than 64 times. I mean, don't really need that much. Then after this, I'm going to show you uh, the difference between the stone button and the wooden button. Um, and that is going to be it for this TNT cannon after I show you that very quick video um so yeah once you have all those ventures loaded you can push your button and it should work 
Boom. It launches them all at once. Um, now, if you notice, um, this dispenser launches five TNT when I push the button. Uh, listen for the clicking. Let me turn my sound all the way up. Listen for the clicking. You can hear five clicks. You can hear five clicks, which means that it dispensed five TNT. Um, and that, um, that's how many TNT you're going to be launching. But if you change it to a wooden button, you'll hear different amount of clicks. It actually launches seven TNT at once. Um, not really this difference within the, the height or distance that it travels, but the reason for this is I'm, uh, most of you should know that a wooden button delivers a pulse and it stays pushed down for three seconds. A stone button, a normal button, uh, stays pushed down for one and a half seconds. So the, uh, the um, wooden button stays down for double the length. Now what happens is when we push this button, the pulse goes through these repeaters into this torch. When this torch turns off, um, the, it stops powering this block, so this torch can flash freely. It flashes on and off, um, as long as the repeater pulse is going in. So eventually, after we use a stone button, the pulse only lasts for so long, so it only gets to dispense so many TNT. But if we use a wooden button, the pulse will last longer, which means it will have a longer time to dispense the TNT. And that is how that works, so the wooden button will get you more TNT, no difference in power or anything like that. Um, okay guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. I just noticed that it was night time. <laughs> anyway, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff, guys. But yeah, until next time, I will see you later. <laughs>